Are you ready to create your very own Pokemon ROM hack, but are unsure where to start? Setting up the right tools is the first step, and today I'll be showing you how to set up the Poke Emerald Expansion Repository, the foundation for modern Pokemon Emerald hacks. In this video, we'll go step by step through everything you need, from downloading the necessary files to compiling your first build of Pokemon Emerald with exciting new features. As someone who started and stopped many game ideas, I've become very familiar with this part of the process. It can feel overwhelming at first, but don't worry, I'll break it down for you. And a big shout out to the Pret and RHH teams for making the setup process easier over the years. Here's a little preview of what we'll cover in this video. The first thing will be downloading and setting up all the tools necessary. The second thing will be how to clone the Poke Emerald expansion repository. And the last thing will be how to compile the game for the first time. All right, so let's just dive right in here. Uh, the first step we we'll want to go to is we we'll want to get to the Poke Emerald expansion GitHub page. You can do this either just by searching Poke Emerald expansion in Google, or I'll put the link to it in the description below as well. So we'll go on here. The first thing you can see is just all the files in the repository. The biggest one we want right away is the we need the README. It's nowhere on version one point ten point one, but the README is also right below all the files as well, in case you just miss it that's kind of always the case on github which is really nice um the readme is good to, good to look through you don't necessarily need it right now but it's really good to know hey why should i use pokemon expansion instead of vanilla um hack you can see this why it's all that there's more documentation about this how to update update the version if in case the version updates while you're in the middle of walking through this as well if there's a bug how do i do it if you have questions you can go to the rhh discord Pret has a Discord as well. You can see, hey, what features are included in this new update or in the Pokemon Emerald expansion. You can see all that. You can see the Gen 5 Plus damage calcs, the phys physical special split, and you can toggle that on or off. The fairy type, you can have that on or off in the game. Um, all the megas, kind of the, the gimmicks, battle gimmicks through Gen 8. You can do all that. Um, it's nice, the quick Pokeball selection. You just hit the press R and you can just run it instead of having to go right into the bag. So there's a lot of stuff there we can learn. Where we're really want to, gonna wanna go right now is this install.markdown file. So you can click on that. This will contain all the instructions on all the other tools you need to download before you clone the repository and build it. And then it'll tell you actually how to clone it and build it. Uh, so first, like you said, if you have any trouble with this, go at, look at their Discord. It's in the readme link and all that. But the first step you wanna do is completing all the install instructions for the operating system you're working on. If you're working on Windows, you just gotta look at what Windows build you're working on. Uh, same thing on Linux. I'm working on Mac, so I go in the Mac instructions and I can just open that one up. Say, all right, cool, this is what I need to download before we clone the repository and build and stuff for Mac. If you don't have um, Xcode command line tools, you can go there. This one's pretty easy, you can just hit download there. It works pretty well. Um, next thing you do, you'd open up the terminal. So I always have mine living down here. You can do just spotlight search. And I want to go into my terminal. I can open that up. Um, if you don't have this, then you can go. Once you have it downloaded, you can copy paste anything. There'll be that little clipboard there. And then just paste it in and hit enter. And it'll run. It'll install everything you need to install for the Xcode part. Uh, the second stuff, there's going to be... Uh, these three, libpng, the pkg con config, and the devkit arm, if you don't have, you'll have to do for any of them you need through homebrew. So if you don't have that, you can go through homebrew. It'll tell you, hey, this is how you install. You can just copy and paste in the terminal like we did before. That'll install homebrew. Then for libpng, boom, you can copy paste this into it like we did before. That works. So you just do copy, then it just pastes into your clipboard. That works. I already have this installed, so I'm not going to run it right now. You do the same for the package config. You do that. And then on the dev kit arm, that's where it gets a little bit. Um, you download all of those dev kit arm stuff from the page right there. This will go through a little bit of thing. In the Mac OS, you can run that. It'll teach you how to do that. Just follow the steps. They make it pretty simple, easy to figure out. Um, then you copy paste, run these commands into the terminal as well. Um, with these, it'll ask you if you want or what selection of packages you want to install. You just want to press enter to install all of the packages. And then I think two times it'll ask you 
a yes or no, you want to do capital Y and then enter yes to download it. It'll run through, take a minute or two, get through all of those, and that'll be good. After those are all run, you want to copy paste this into your terminal as well. Again, pretty standard and all that. Then if you don't have Python installed, you want to download it. Um, from there, you can see that like before, you'll download Python. It'll work pretty good. Open it, install it and all that, and you have all that. So that's all the operating system stuff side that you need to do. Then we can go back to the install.markdown page, and we'll actually go to building the Poke Emerald expansion. Uh, the first step you want to do in your terminal is navigate to the directory where you want to keep the project in. Um, so for me, I'll go, mine's in my games, and then for my Pokemon Centennial build, it's in the Pokemon Centennial folder. For this build, I'm just going to navigate to my tutorial thing, and you can see when I ls, that's listing all the files, there's nothing in there, and you can see, hey, here's my tutorial thing, there's nothing in there right now. So that works. Once we're in that folder, then we'll want to actually download or clone the Pokemon expansion with Git. If you don't have Git, you might have to download that as well, but... You can just uh, copy paste this one in over and I will run this with you as well. We will start cloning this. This might take a minute or so, so I will let you go and I will come back once this is finished downloading or cloning into the folder. All right, so that one actually went pretty fast for me today, which is nice. So if we open or look back up and see, hey, Pokemon expansion is in there and we look, hey, Pokemon expansion is in here. This is all the same files for the most part that we saw on the main page you can see on the side here, but that's all good. You can see all of that, so that works pretty good. So let's go check onto the next step. Next up is actually building the project or compiling it. I guess we wanna get into the Pokemon expansion folder. So I'll just CD into Pokemon Mode expansion. And I'm just doing tab autocomplete. I hate typing out all the numbers. So you can see we're in the Pokemon Emerald expansion. You can see, hey, these are all these files again. That's cool. Next thing we'll need to do to actually make the project so we can actually play the ROM is we will just run make. And this one will go. You can see it'll start to run soon. This initial build usually takes quite a bit of time. It's probably up to like five minutes to do the original build. So you can see it just started now, and I will check back in once this is finished running because I don't want to make you sit here and watch all of this. All right, so um, I'm back, finally finished with this. Uh, took a handful of minutes. The first build is always kind of the longest that it takes to get through. Um, let's see if it makes sure it works, and we see kind of following oh, everything in that kind of matches what we have there, so it should work, and a good test you can do also for that is now you should have this pokeemerald.gba file in your folder, so that works nice. We'll check into that in a bit. Um, a nice thing to do, in the future you can do some parallel builds to help the process speed up. Um, if you're not on Mac, you can do nproc, it'll give you a number, and then you can do make minus j, and then the number that you get from nproc. Um, on Mac, you use this command that I really don't know how to say, so I can do that now. I get the number eight out of it. So if I want to make it faster, I do make minus J eight and then hit enter. And that would make that one as well. So that's good for future things just to help speed up the different make options. So now we'll head back to the, the folder. You have the stuff. You can go to this pokeemerald.gba. We're going to open it with MGBA is what I think they recommend as well. But then you can see here is the build that you had. I'm going to do a little speed up, get through this faster. But you can see, hey, you are on, you have a ROM that you can make, or that you can play. It'll work, it's just generic Poke Emerald, or Pokemon Emerald right now. But that'll work, and congrats, you just did your very first build of Poke Emerald from the repository. If you're excited to dive into the world of Pokemon ROM hacking, and want to see more tutorials like this, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Your support helps us create more content to guide you on your journey. Plus, you won't want to miss out on any updates for Pokemon Centennial or future tips and tricks.